Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually getting started on my fridge organization and I am so excited. I am 34 weeks pregnant and the nesting bug has really hit so I am just going through every space that I can to feel organized and clean and prepped and ready for when this baby arrives. We just moved into our new home and we were actually living out of a mini fridge for almost three months, I think, because we had ordered this fridge and then it became back ordered uh, several months and then we moved and it was a whole thing. Anyway, two weeks after we moved into this house, we finally got our fridge. And this is our cafe fridge in the matte white with the bronze. And it is a little bit bigger than counter depth. You can get it counter depth, but we went with the extra bigger size um, to hold all of the things. So if you're looking to get some inspiration, motivation to organize your fridge, just keep watching. Okay, so this is what our new fridge looks like it's a matte white with the bronze handles and we absolutely love the style of it i'll have it linked below if you're curious and this is what the inside of it looks like as you can see it is super cluttered <laughs> things just kind of thrown in there random drinks and foiled cap objects <laughs> so we're gonna get it nice and organized and clean so i started with these clear bins that I got from the container store and I'll have all of these things that I used for the fridge um, linked below but they some of them come with some really great dividers um, in case you wanted to separate some items I got different sizes and some bins were specifically for like berries and fruits so to start I actually had to go through and take off so many labels some were sticky some were not um, and as you can see, they were not easy to take off and it was actually pretty time consuming. Um, so this took like a good half hour for me to take off all the stickers and to clean them, wipe them down before I was ready to actually start organizing. So make sure that you plan for that. What I did was actually use um, citrus fresh or like lemon oil to get off the stickiness and it worked really well. So I highly recommend. Then I just went through and took out all of the food from our fridge and just stuck it on the island. This gave me just like a really clean slate to work with, um, just like a nice, clean, fresh canvas. So this is what it looks like all empty and clear. And I just went ahead and wiped down any dust, food, fingerprints, um, again, to have a nice, clean slate. So here we are with our fresh and clean cafe fridge. So then I went through and kind of wanted to map out where these bins were gonna go. I thought it would help me learn what items I wanted in each bins based on where they were fitting, but I can always move the shelves and I actually ended up moving the shelves around to better accommodate what I had. But if you're unsure, I would totally map it out first. And this is what my island looked like. <laughs> I went through and I discarded any items I didn't think were good anymore, expired, or we just weren't going to eat. Um, so that I was only focused on the food that we wanted to keep and store in our fridge. So I headed to the grocery store and I did get some fresh fruit to start like these strawberries. I also got blueberries and grapes to store in the fridge. So I'm using these small berry bins and as you can see they're actually vented on the bottom. So after you wash them and dry them if there's any moisture left on the fruit it'll vent to the bottom and your fruit's not sitting in the water which I thought was really nice and I can already tell a difference that our fruit is lasting so much longer using these bins and I love the way that they look so I love that I can prepare the strawberries and just grab them and it's already ready to serve which makes it easy to save time.
So I ended up taking a paper towel and just folding it and folding it at the bottom. As you can see, these kind of pull out of the main box. And I just set a paper towel in there just to um, soak up any of the moisture underneath. I don't think you have to do that, but I just kind of wanted to test it out and see um, if it would help kind of keep it drier and kind of soak up the extra water. So this is what my fridge looked like before and what it looked like all empty and this is what it looks like now all organized so i have all of our yogurts in here that Ellie likes to eat. I like this brand also. I haven't tried that flavor, so I'm excited to try that. She loves her little applesauce packets, and this is just gonna be so easy for me to grab and go when we need to um, hop in the car and go somewhere. I've got bacon and eggs because is there ever like a better pair? In here, I just have an avocado and some mushrooms for a recipe I'm going to be making. In here, I have sausage, pepperoni, and some chuck roast pieces, I think. Again, for a recipe I'm going to be making down here. Um, I haven't tried these, but I'm excited. I got them at Costco. Um, I should probably flip that like right side up. Like, there we go. <laughs> So I got these egg bites um, from Costco. I'm really excited because I love the Starbucks ones. And so I'm hoping that these will be just as good. And then I have a gluten-free pita bread and then our regular sandwich bread back there, which we usually toast anyway, so we keep it in the fridge. Then we have these perfect bars. And oh my gosh, if you have not tried this flavor yet, you have to. Dark chocolate chip peanut butter. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So I have those that are easy to just grab and go. Some string cheese, a little salad kit that we have with dinner. I have a couple different kombuchas that I like to drink. Milk, some almond flour tortillas, and my beloved hero slices. I usually put that on the pita bread and it's so good. And here I just have some like fresh herbs that are already pre-cut to save some time. Um, as you can see, it's celery, onion, and then garlic. That's for our recipe coming up. And then some grapes, and then 
and just have like a little cauliflower mac and cheese up here. In this drawer, since this is humidity control, I put the strawberries and blueberries in here with some vanilla yogurt in the back um, to kind of eat together. So that'll be really convenient. And here's basically like our dip and cheese drawer. <laughs> it's not all cheese. Like here's some tzatziki that I have with my hero um, sandwiches, but basically like our cheese and dip drawer i'm calling it for now all of our Kerrygold butter all of our condiments our favorite salsas mayo honey and um, some jam i think back here we have some bone broth this is my favorite for fish tacos and then down here i kind of made it like a little coffee nook i guess with all my cold brew and the whipped cream heavy cream so that's my refrigerator organization video i'll have everything linked below in the description box for you guys if you're not already subscribed make sure you're subscribed i'm going to be doing my pantry organization and it's going to be super intense you guys it looks so bad so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video and i'll see you in the next one bye